Hello. Today I have two iPhones 8 Plus and I want to change the display from one to another. Before doing this, first of all on this iPhone the display is not original and it doesn't have true tone anymore but if you have an iPhone that is original with original display you will need to go to take the settings from your original display and transfer to the swap or the other display now I don't have the original settings on this one and I don't care if I lose them while I'm doing this repair So, I will start taking them apart. This was taken apart before, I don't know about this one, I will see in just a second also this is much it's not that heavy as the other one i don't know the reason so i will apply the suction cape the suction cup Sorry, and I will take my razor blade to stick under the display as soon as a gap is formed. I hope that I will not destroy this display. Also, I will show you how to transfer the home button to work with. your new device so I managed to bring my razor blade under the display now I will use a pry tool to force it a little bit I still like my razor blade to force the display just put it into a side and pry a little bit this is a big display i usually use my okay my nail works fine looks like there wasn't any kind of seal anymore on this one so or maybe it was careful do not pry too hard or you might end breaking your connections here is the display connector inside we have three head screw right there and Phillips screw here on the bottom to be honest this looks okay inside I don't know which 
is the try so this is the try and I need a Phillips screw that is not dented looks like I managed to dent my other head and is not working as I need be careful always on iPhones remember which screw you took from which hole because if you put a wrong screw in a wrong hole you end up breaking your motherboard I don't know if this display is original or not so let me remove the other bracket and then remove the display out this uses three head or three yes three heads screw I believe that Also the camera on that one is broken so I will need to transfer my camera if I do not damage my connector. Looks like I cannot take it out. Okay, I managed to remove it, I hope without any damage, because and I think I damaged the connector by breaking it, so I hope it's not the case. but I think I damaged it looks like there was some sort of glue around the edge of the display some sort of There's a lot of dust inside. But other than that, this looks very neat. Okay, let's put device aside and try to pry the other device open now I don't want to use a suction cup because in this device I have a screen protector and if I use suction cup I will probably not be able to use it anymore and I want that screen protector looks like this device was also or I made not 
not be familiar with the type of glue that is used but I don't see any glue on this device also maybe the screen was replaced on this device so Okay, I don't know what to say if that is original or not. Again, Philip screws here and try heads here. to take it out much easier I don't think they are original displays both of them I think they are a replacement but it doesn't matter as long as this is not bricked and it looks much better than the other one So I wanted to search for differences between the original and 
fake one and I believe both of them both of them are fake to be honest but that doesn't matter so I need to switch the power button or uh, the home button between them in order to be able to use touch ID on the new phone So in order to swap the button, you don't need to take the whole assembly out, you only need to Yes, I already see that this one is a replaced display as there are missing screws But this one looks pretty intact. No, there is a missing screws on this one too. So this display it's a replacement too. Which means it's not an original and I believe This is also non original. I don't know. Cameras can be fake. It doesn't matter. So. So this is the I find it the easiest to way to remove the button from an iPhone 8, 7 and so is to put the tip of the blade just behind the cable and move easy beneath the ribbon cable of the button to be able to remove it so take this out push it up be careful be very careful here do not break your button or your Touch ID will not work anymore. I'm very careful in order for my button to properly work.
I saw something which I do not like that much. So I'm gonna take the other one apart and see why it's black tape that should not be there that keeps the button in place so let's So here on the other one there is no black tape, you need to peel it and I wonder what that black tape is doing here. Because it looks like it's a part of the button itself. Or can I actually peel the button out of that tape, black tape? Okay, I am stuck. I don't know what that black tape could be there. Here, there's a black tape. It doesn't, at least for me, is a black tape that it's not a part of the actual button. So this is from the other display. Oops. doesn't necessarily it's not in place but I'll try my best not to make a mistake and damage something while mounting the button So everything looks all right. And I will now mount 
put the bracket and I will make a test on this this display to see if everything works properly and if it works I will power off my device and I will continue the demounting So maybe this display is original, I'm not sure, but for sure it doesn't look original and Let's now try to see if okay there was a So you mount this, I find it the best to mount this connector first. I'm gonna so let's mount the display and but be careful do not break your connectors or it will not work anymore or the touch or the home button i just hope that everything works fine so i'll power my device The display powers on. Here it is. Will not show this device on camera because it's my personal one and I don't want to so touch ID it's working as intended. Let me see the front camera. I think it's a little bit blurred, but yeah, it's the same on, on this one. Also, I'll make a call to see or not okay everything looks okay all right from my opinion so i will turn off my device and Continue with assembly the other one.
Okay. Two screws here, two screws here, two screws there. Two, four, six, but Oh, okay, so there's a screw that can be mounted on the display. Here, because I have one missing. And I'd like to be fully mounted, so I need one bracket like this one, mount it, let me show you, mount it here, careful, do not break your ribbon cables the position to mount these brackets are awful especially when you can get the screw right so I managed to mount one screw here I'll not tighten it because I need to put the other one need to be sure that it's right on the tip of the screw and mount it there so take another bracket here I 
need to change my screw head for this one I need the Phillips head So this phone it's mounted everything inside and that should be good I can put it back but I will let it open because I want to test it properly before closing it Let's take the other one now because I don't care about this one that much. I can uh, I can be a little more rough about mounting it. So Still not being able to mount that ribbon cable properly. Looks like I succeeded. Now let's put back okay, let's see very fast. Sorry, my phone uh, closed, has shut down and now I need to mount the brackets and close the phone. I didn't test this one yet, but it doesn't really matter if it turns on or not because this phone is actually broken so it has a ionic cloud bypass so it's unusable only for apps and for apps I don't care if the display is broken or not so I will mount back the screw test if it starts and put everything back together now I have two more screws to mount here the tri heads screws for this bracket like for the other one I put the screw first into the screwdriver head and then put it back inside
Okay, let's test if it powers on. Okay, it powers now. Everything looks alright. I will put back. The security screws for the display looks like it doesn't want to enter. I'm gonna tie them. And yeah, the repair is complete, so the two of them one side by side comparison. The repair is complete and this is how you change a display if you don't care about the true tone option onto your device you can change by this method if you care about true tone you will need to go to a dedicated repairs shop to install the settings from your old display into the new display in order to pretty much the display it's paired with the motherboard in order for true tone to work but you can just simply swap displays if you don't want true tone settings or if you don't care about true tone settings you can pretty swap pretty much swap the display like i did now now i didn't had from the first place the original display in order to take my settings from it and put it into the new display so that's it I need to just stay without true tone and for me it's not that much of a problem this is how you take the button the button works perfectly in both both cases so it's in loop I need to unlock it again in order to work after of shutting it down and powering it on thank you for watching i hope you find this useful and i hope it f helps you into doing repairs at home bye